then ai is a very powerful tool but it also has its limitations when it comes to the context of investing so that's exactly what we will discuss in this video the first idea is use gen ai as a assistant and not advisor gen ai may have a lot of knowledge and a great confident conversation skills what i mean as a conversation skill is even if it is wrong it will be convincingly conversing as if it is correct so you need to be careful about that so and it's not a licensed finance advisor remember if you see in our last video i told you that llms are trained on huge amount of data so that means the responses from a gen ai is limited to the training and it's not from a real time intelligence of a superhuman while gen ai can teach you a lot of investing concepts it can talk you about uh, stocks it can summarize data it can provide insights but it cannot give you specific investment advice so use the information from a gen ai as a uh, information and not as a prescriptive or for making decisions uh, remember that the tool can miss details can have wrong information or even misinterpret data so it's your responsibility to always recheck or validate the information from the gen ai tool how to do that we will see in the subsequent videos the second key idea is use gen ai for information purposes and not for decisions treat the tool as your information assistant which can help you to understand trading terms or fundamental concepts historical data but all of it comes from its existing trading data but remember that stock market is a very very complex machine it has lot many factors outside the data points of a gen ai so use it to gather information speed your analysis learn a lot of new concepts or seeking a alternate opinion but you really cannot leave the final decision to the tool human judgment is the key you have to make the decision so always don't go by a blind trust check the check i will teach you in the practical demonstrations and now coming to the third key idea the na landscape is evolving it is just a starter it is at the we are at the tip of the iceberg it's still a long journey to go so you'll have a lot of changes in this landscape for example the llm which we talk about training it is not the latest information the training is up to only a specific cut off date so which means that it may lack a latest market information also there is going to be competing products many competing products going to come in the uh, future like chat gpt was released within a few years within a few days as a competition google released the tool called bard which is now called as gemini and recently uh, something called deep seek was released from china and expect many more are going to come in the coming months india is also planning something similar lines in a couple of months now coming to even the same products like even if i am talking about chat gpt there are going to be new releases with more and more advanced features so if you are watching this video of after, after a couple of months the screen interface whatever i use the part of this demo must be much different then what you might be seeing the tool that time there are there are so much changes which is happening in the tool but you need to remember the core investing principles and the ai fundamentals remain relevant so the learning what you do will not change so no worries about that you need to constantly upgrade that is more important you need to upgrade as a new features come up so just to give you a confidence you might learn driving a car but you can drive any car even if you have learned you are driving a car in 1980s i am sure you can draw, drive any car even today so the the similarities are the same you learn about investing you learn about using uh, chat gpt or any gen ai product through prompts the fundamental is going to remain for any competing product or any upgraded version which comes up in the future so stay tuned and we'll have more interesting videos coming up as a interesting update i think we are done with the uh, lecture style of uh, videos
we are going to have the practical demonstrations in the coming videos please stay tuned thank you till we meet in the next video bye